How will today's Excel tip enhance your data analysis? Join us in this detailed tutorial from our expert trainer who walks you through each step. Let's get started. In our previous lesson, we talked about autofill and we discussed things like months and days that are preset within Excel as a sequence, as a series. So those are already built into Excel. But what if you have a scenario where you have a series of different lists that you use all the time that are just personal and custom to your needs? So it could be a series of products, could be a series of people, could be cities, states, things like that. But those are not built into Excel. Well, great news is Excel gives you the option to create and apply your own custom list to apply that as an autofill. So you'll notice here I have this pre-existing list of cities. And what I'm going to do is make a custom list based off of something that's already written. But I'm also going to show you how to make a custom list off of something that's not written. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go a little bit deeper into Excel to find out where the options are to create this custom list. Because we have to create it first. So where do we go to create it? Well, we go into the Excel options dialog box. This is some place we have not gone to yet. So let's go ahead and explore that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the file menu, come way down on the far lower left where it says options. For some of us, depending on your screen resolution, you may need to click on more and then choose options. And then what we're going to do is we're going to choose advanced. And then after you choose advanced, you're going to scroll way, way, way down as far as you can go. And you're going to choose edit custom lists. And you can see here it says create list for use in sorts and fill sequences. We've been using fill sequences. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom list based off of these cities. So we'll never have to type them out ever again because we're going to use autofill. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit custom list. And now you're going to notice that we have some familiar characters like our days of the week as well as our months of the year. What I would like to do is add these cities so they become part of my custom list. So how do we do that? Well, we are going to import these into here. So very simply, I click inside this box and then this is going to hang out here as I click and drag down to import them in there and now notice it's now going to create a new custom list based off of I2 through I7, okay, which is what's inside of these cells. So now, very simply, I choose Import, and that comes in there, and now that is part of my custom list. Let's go ahead and try it out. I'm going to click OK, click OK again, and now I'm going to open up to a brand new tab altogether, and then I'm just going to type out, let's just say, Dallas. And now that's just my hint. That's part of my sequence. I'm going to click and drag down until I see the end of the list. And then bam, there you have it. Beautiful. I'll never have to type that ever again. So again, just imagine that scenario. It's something that you use all the time. It's a list that you are constantly needing to implement. You don't want to have to type it out over and over and over again. You can create a custom list and therefore apply it. Let's now see how we can do it from scratch. Let's say the list that you want to create does not exist that you would essentially be copying and importing it into your custom list dialog box. Well, let's do the same exact process where we started. We're going to go over here to File, come way down here to Options, and then once again we're going to go to Advanced, and then once again we're going to go as deep as we can go to Edit Custom List. Well, this part's even easier. Because I'm not importing anything, I'm just going to go over to here to my list entry right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in all my different list items right there. So let's go ahead and do some Bay Area cities. We'll say San Francisco. And then I'm just going to hit the Enter key. And I'll just say Berkeley. I'll say San Mateo, Daly City, Marin, and finally... Oakland. Beautiful. But now I need to add it so it becomes an official custom list by clicking on add. And there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And click OK again. And this time I'll start off with Oakland. And 
Let's go ahead and do it going across this time. And lovely. All right. Now, one thing to note is that if I were to start a brand new document, these custom lists come with me. Okay. It's not just for this document. You now have this preserved and embedded for every single Excel document you will do from here on out. Are you happy with this training? Make sure to subscribe for more great content. Don't let your momentum stop here. Check out our recommended playlist for more helpful videos to boost your skills.